Hi everyone! Today, we're going to study Laplace transforms of integrals. Given the function f of t, if Laplace transform of the function f of t is equal to the function capital F of s, then Laplace transform of the definite integral from 0 to t of the integrand f of t, then dt. This is equal to 1 over s multiplied by the function capital F of s. Further, this capital F of s is the Laplace transform of the function f of t. This is our working formula. Example 1. Find Laplace transform of the definite integral from 0 to t of the integrand cosine t then dt. The definition is written here. Then let us copy our problem down here and this is equal to 1 over s times Laplace transform of the function cosine t. When we simplify Laplace transform of cosine t, we have this s all over s square plus 1. Then we can cancel this s in the numerator and the s here in the denominator. And the final answer is 1 all over s square plus 1. Example 2. Find Laplace transform of the definite integral from 0 to t. The integrand is e raised to 3t, then dt. Let us write the definition. Let us copy the problem down here. And this is equal to 1 over s times Laplace transform of this e raised to 3t. When we simplify Laplace transform of e raised to 3t, we have this 1 all over s minus 3. We just combine the 1 over s and this 1 over s minus 3. We have now 1 all over s square minus 3s. Example 3. Find the plus transform of the definite integral from 0 to t. The function is e raised to negative t multiplied by sine t, then dt. Our definition for Laplace transform of integral is here. Then we copy our problem down here. This is equal to 1 over s times Laplace transform of e raised to negative t times sine t. This problem is of the form when we have the shifting property of Laplace transform. I'm going to put the link in the description below. On that process, we are going to take Laplace transform of sine t, after which we are going to evaluate the outcome, which is the function capital F, to be evaluated with s plus a. In this case, a is the coefficient of the negative t in this exponent of e, which is 1. Let us evaluate now Laplace transform of sine t. And that is 1 all over s square plus 1. From here, we will do the shifting property, which means we are going to change all s by the s plus 1. So final answer is 1 all over. This s here becomes s plus 1. And the s square here becomes s plus 1. And that is squared. Then we have this plus 1. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.